Now today I'm going to be teaching you how to install NutScript for your Gary's Mod server and you're going to need a program to open up the zip files such as 7zip or WinRAR. Now you're going to need to go to github.com slash chestnut slash NutScript and I'll post the link in the description below. Now on the bottom right you're going to see download zip and just click that. You wait for it to download and open up and double click on NutScope dash master. Now these are going to be the game of files for the NutScript framework. And open up your Gary's Mod server directory, or if you're using FTP, connect to the FTP server and see something like this. Double click on Gary's Mod, and go to Game Modes, and make a new folder called NutScript. Now you're going to copy and select all the files from the zip, and just drag it onto the NutScript folder. Now if you are going to be using, or if you're not going to be using MySQL, which requires an external database and probably web hosting then you skip this step or the following steps now you are gonna have to go to the wiki if, if you are going to be using MySQL then go to the wiki which is below on the re readme and go to the server owner section and at the right you see see NutScript setup now click on that and under configuring NutScript there's going to be two links one for MySQL O and T MySQL 4. Both include a Windows slash or Linux version. Now I'm going to be installing Team NutScript with T MySQL 4. And I'm just going to go to the Google Code repository. I'm going to be downloading the GM underscore T MySQL 4 and Win32 version. Now what you need to do is just show it in the folder and since this is a server you're going to have to rename the gm underscore to gmsv underscore go to your gary's mod folder again and lua and if you don't see a bin folder already just create a new folder called bin and just drag the tmi fill for module that you just got now you're going to have to go to the main gary's mod folder again where you see srcds and you're going to have to download a thing called libmysql and I think on the mysql OO red it should include version to use and get this right here oh wrong one and wait for this to download I'm going to show in folder and just drag this over here. Now that you have that set up, um, you will have to configure your NutScript to use your MySQL database. So you just go to NutScript slash game mode slash svconfig and you have to edit the following right here. You're going to change this if you're using a database to either MySQL 00 or TMySQL 4 depending on what you prefer. Now what I'm going to do is just skip all the configuring and I'm just going to leave it as SQLite for users who don't want to use a MySQL database which requires no setup but can only work on one server. Now that you have NutScript it's not going to function alone so you're going to need the schema to use and go back to github.com slash chestnut slash NutScript and just click on chestnut and click on where it says sample schema. Now you're going to follow the same steps for down installing NutScript, so you're just going to download it as a zip and double click on the sample schema master folder and you see all the schema files. You make a new folder based off what it says on the text file right here and excluding the, the .txt extension, so just sample. And you're going to drag all these files onto the sample schema folder that you just made. Now that you have that all set up, you're ready to start up your server. So just if you're using a batch file for running your server, or if you're on Linux and using the startup command, it should be about the same. So if our startup command is going to include a, well, you should already have all of this if you haven't already. And at the end, if you don't have it, just add plus game mode 
and here's the you're gonna use the schema's name, which is basically the .txt file without the extension. So we'll sample. And we're gonna save that. And now just double click on run.bat or run your command if you're using Linux. And the server should be started. No, you don't have Gary's mod open. Then just go open up Gary's mod. And we just wait until the server starts up. Alright. So on LAM, this is where I could see it since it's running on my computer. Um, we're going to see my server and it's going to be running Nutscript sample. And if you join it, then hopefully your server is all set up. And you can tell by that if you don't see any errors at all in your console. So we're going to wait. I'm going to pause it right here until we actually join the server. Alright, Nutscript just finished loading and we here we are with our framework and schema setup. Now as you can tell we're using the sample schema because it says that in big letters at the top. And we're just gonna create a new character. And here we are with the sample schema and everything seems to be running fine. We have our commands and inventory and all that. And congratulations, if you did everything right then you should have your server set up. 